All right, you guys, so I realized I never filmed an intro for this video, so I'm gonna try to do it now, and I hope you guys enjoy. What is up? I am Young Lit Mama. Thank you for clicking on another video. If you are new to my channel, make sure to watch my other videos, get to know me, get to know you, leave me some comments. And if you aren't new, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me again. Uh, I don't know what that was, but um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Court, court day three. What's up you guys, Young Lit Mama. I'm back with another video, starting it off looking a little rough, but <laughs> we are, I am getting stuff together for, um, this is the third time we're going to court. Um, so I took you guys to the second court date that we had and this is going to be our third court date with daddy so um you guys seem to really enjoy that first one and i decided um i had a lot of fun making it and editing it so we are here for round two so um tomorrow is going to be a jam-packed day really 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 busy so um i and we're gonna be out the entire day with, it's gonna be me, you know, daddy and the baby. We're gonna be out at the courthouse all day. Um, you know, I'll take him and walk around and we're, I actually have plans, you know, we're not gonna stay there the whole time like last time. Um, I'm actually gonna take him for a walk around downtown and then maybe to like a Walmart or something. But anyways, right now I am just, prepping our lunch breakfast and like evening snack um for me daddy and the baby because we're gonna be gone all day so i don't want to be spending any money because we spent a lot at the vending machine last time so this time packing a lunch so that's what we're doing right now All right, so got my clothes ready for tomorrow, court appropriate. I got baby boy stuff ready to go for tomorrow, and daddy will have to pick out his stuff. All right, we're gonna hang out until daddy calls me and tells me he's off work. It's seven o'clock now, maybe another two or three hours. I'm tired. Got a movie going. Gotta get to bed early, dude. Gotta wake up. Okay, I'll get it. I'll go get it. He wants his milk.
do this. Just the fact that I'm a felon, I not that I'd ever want to be a cop, but I can never be a cop in my entire life. Fucking, I don't care how stupid or small the law is. If they're a cop, especially if they're in uniform and they're breaking it, you should take their badge immediately. No matter how small it is, because if they're breaking the smallest of laws in uniform, imagine what the... Man, fuck off. What? what are no, you were doing good. What? It was I'm making not, good no, sense. No, I'm, no, I'm lost in my thoughts. Okie dokie, we just got to the methadone clinic. Or the hiccups. Ugh, nope, just a burp. Alright, we just got to the methadone clinic. Daddy just went in. I have a take home. That's what this big ugly safe is. Uh, yeah, yeah. But um, I'm going to wait for daddy to finish. And he's going to bring me some water out so I can take my methadone. And I'm super, super excited, you guys. So, oh, I have goosebumps right now. But I'm just really proud, you guys. We started this journey, and the, the first time I ever tried the methadone route, I wasn't doing it to get clean. I was doing it to get more dope. So the first time that I was on methadone I got up to 198 milligrams which is way ridiculous I really don't think that's necessary for anyone but I was almost at 200 milligrams um, when you go to a methadone clinic you start at 30 everybody starts at 30 like even if you even if 30 isn't gonna make you feel better that sucks you start at 30 so um, when we finally got clean and we decided to try the methadone route again, um, because we had tried every other route, we tried the Suboxin, Subutex, everything, and it wasn't working. So we went back to the methadone and mama is on 23 milligrams, 23, you guys, that is less than what they start you at. And even better, Daddy is at 13. He's almost done. I'm so excited. I'm so fucking proud of him. Um, so, yeah, I'm just waiting. After this, we are hitting the road for the long journey to the courthouse. We made a pit stop at the uh, K with the circle. I need to get me some fucking fluids. <laughs> get in. Let's see. I think daddy's gonna surprise me with hot Cheetos. We're gonna predict it. Hot Cheetos. Burp. It's you like burped like in mama's face and it was stinky. Like almond milk. Mmm. Look at he's all smiley. You're so cute, buggy. Yay, court day. <laughs> Field trip to the court. Woohoo. Oh, Ooh, it's chilly. Come to court enough. I should be considered <laughs> I come an to court enough. I'm an employee. <laughs> right. Told you to rush. Oh no, my cigar.
Well, which, uh, what courtroom number? Hi, cutie pie. <laughs> Okie dokie, say daddy's in the courtroom, so we're gonna go walk around downtown. Huh. I'm gonna walk to the car, change my butt, and go for a walk. I'm getting it. All right, so Daddy is officially in the courtroom, and we can't go in there, so I know. So this is where we're trying something out. Last time we just stayed there the whole time. This time, since he, we're not allowed in, we, um, I got baby boy ready, we're all packed, I'm getting his lunch with us, and we're just gonna kinda, gonna go for a mom and baby boy walk around downtown here, maybe stop at a little spot and eat lunch together, and wait for daddy to get done. So I figured I would take you guys along with me, and maybe it'll be a little bit more exciting than our last. So, lunch. Lunch is secured. I got him some diapers. Oh, bug, you squeezed it all. Honey. <laughs> Not how this works. Come on, you know how to eat these. Are you ready to go? Ready? We're gonna go for a little walk. We're gonna go for a a little mama and buggy hang out while we wait for daddy, okay? Let's get you buckled back up. Boom! Ready? Gonna lock the car. It's pretty cool, huh? The phoenix, see the phoenix birdies on the side? What's up, dude? You just hanging out? Kicking back? Eating your hot Cheeto? Hmm? You having fun? How bad, boy? This is cool. 
We found this as we were walking. Look at all the little details. Super cool. All right, so I think the plan, hey, hey. So we stopped and we got him his juice that he already finished, so I had to put water in it. Are you getting hungry? I think we're gonna try to find like a little area, kind of like this, but a little bit more secluded. And maybe we'll turn on bubble guppies and eat our breakfast. Yeah? All right. We're gonna go try to find a place, eat. I think I'm gonna hang out here until like 11, and then we'll, you know, head back, put everything in the car, and see if daddy's done. We just got back to the car. We've been walking around downtown for like, I don't know, maybe a little over an hour. We ate like brunch. Um, we watched bubble guppies. And now I'm gonna get back to the courthouse so that daddy um, isn't alone. Isn't all alone. So pack everything back up. I changed his diaper. All right, you guys. So let's talk about this plea. I can't obviously say too much because it's happening right now, but I just feel so... I feel defeated for Lewis, for Daddy. I feel defeated for him. Um, it, it, I know he thinks this, this is defeat, you know what I mean? He was getting off probation. He literally was trying to do his paperwork to get off probation. And that is when they randomly found this two year old warrant. And they were like, oh, yep, sorry. You aren't done with probation. You need to go to court for this. And it it crushed him you guys he went from finally being able to think i'm free he's been on probation for seven years so to finally think you're done he finished his community service he was paying his fine on time what have you and you know it's what up bug we tutor we find out that you know there's this warrant and a whole other case that we had no idea about and so he he knew right away what was going to happen he knew they were going to give him more probation more fines more uh community service and it's exactly what it's looking like so his lawyer, I guess the norm when this happens is reinvoke reinstate to another four years of probation, but he has so much good time. He has so many things on his side. He's, you know, held a job. He's never been in trouble since then. He completed his services. Are you stuck? You know, all of that stuff. So to literally, you know, one day think, oh my gosh, I'm done, I have my life back, I can travel with my family and not have to ask about or ask anybody to leave, I, I don't have to worry about telling my job I'm on probation, I don't have to run to the house every time my probation officer calls and says I'm doing a random visit. He finally, we both finally thought that was done with and Unfortunately, um, it's not. So, it's hard. Like, I'm not trying to have a pity party because, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, did, you did the dirty, so do the time with it. But, uh, it just gets frustrating when 
you have been. You've been doing everything right, and you finally have your life on track, and um, stuff like this comes to bite you in the ass. So, I don't know. I hope that I can cheer him up. I'm going to take him to lunch right now. I just want to get his mind off of that. I don't want this to make him go backwards in any way. So, all I can do is be here for daddy. Huh. We can just be here for daddy. Be here for daddy. I love daddy. I love daddy. <laughs> you look like you love daddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to play with the little one. And I will see you guys probably at lunch. They're yarny. They're yarny. They're yarny. I'm sorry you're sad, Harney. No, yeah, it's whatever. Come back. When you're still eating. Okay, good job. I eat a whole taco. Huh. By yourself. I ate the tacos. Okay, so I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. The baby finally fell asleep. Uh, we decided to go to Taco Bell, obviously, like you guys just saw. Um, it's the first time we've taken him to Taco Bell and he loved it. <laughs> he loves his tacos. So, um, we never really go, I don't really crave fast food anymore. Ever since getting clean, um, I don't know, it's just not something that I crave. It's kind of actually something that like grosses me out, but I was hungry, I was hangry, and um, Taco Bell sounded really good. So anyways, that's where we went. Um, I'm gonna wait in the car because baby boy finally fell asleep. Um, he got a nice full belly now. And daddy went back into the courthouse. He uh, left maybe 10 minutes ago, so. He should be getting there. Wait, look, there's goats. Those are goats. We are just, just waiting for daddy now to get out of the dispensary. We had to stop by and pick up an order and they're taking forever and I just want to get home. I'm getting frustrated. I already had a mini panic attack. I have to pee. And I'm just frustrated, you guys. Are we finally home? Are we finally home? Oh my gosh, you guys, we are finally home. And I peed. <laughs> finally got to pee. Um, I'm going to change into some comfy clothes and oh, sit down, take a bong rip, take a dab and you guys can hang out with me for the rest of the night. I am having a friend over and we are gonna do a little mini photo shoot. So stay tuned for that. Okay, dinner time. I decided I wanted a cup of noodles. He wanted corn and then he ate one of these. Alright you guys, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get the little one down and I'm just waiting for daddy to call so I can go and pick him up from work. I'm not too, I'm not feeling really well, um, so I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna call it a night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better and I can film my outro and close up this video for you guys. Thank you for watching this vlog if you've made it this far. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. There. Hi. Hi, Buggy. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Can you wave? Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> oh, 
What is up, you guys? Say hi. You say hi. It is the next morning, and I am going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog-style video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to do this with us. Um, we have another court date, but not for a month. Um, he just signed this plea, and, you know, back on probation he goes. Sucks, uh, you know, thinking you're about to get off, and then... You get slapped with, like, two more years. But I think he's doing a little bit better um, this morning. I'm just trying to cheer him up. Uh, I don't want it to, you know, make anybody go backwards. So just got to do what you got to do. So thank you guys so much for hanging out, watching this video. I'm keeping it short. I look a hot mess. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Um, but thank you guys so much. Young Lit Mama is out. Make sure to check out all of my videos and all of my other, um, content. I'll leave all my platforms in the description box. You can check it out. And until next time, bye guys. So this I already had, but unfortunately I lost. My kid ran away with it and we haven't found it. So I got this one. And then these are all the ones that I needed and I haven't had the chance to go and get it. So, so I have my blue, six months. I got my yellow nine months i have my glow in the dark for a year and then i got my gray for 18. i'm so excited you guys to add these to um all the others and i can't believe i actually have these I would see them um, giving all of these to people, do you know what I mean, and congratulating them. And oh, I wanted this glow in the dark one so bad. So weird, but these little keychains, these mean a lot. So, um, if you guys ever um, are in the need of these, uh, I um, get, I find that going to some support groups um, actually do harm for my mental health and sobriety. And so I found this amazing online shop, and that is where I was able to purchase all of them for myself and. Um, yeah, they're really inexpensive. I got everything for like $10, including shipping. And I got one, two, three, four. I got five of them. So they have all of them. They have a bunch of different stuff. But if you guys are looking to get yourself a tag, a coin, a pin, whatever you rock, I suggest checking them out. So yay, I'm so, so happy. I'm glad these came in time and I was able to throw it in at the end of this video. And yeah. Until next time, guys, thank you again for hanging out, and I'll see you in my next video.